I guess for, for the opportunity to play Michigan on Saturday at home, sell a crowd. Oh yeah, that's a great opportunity. Another chance for us, you know, kind of do what we do and prepare to, you know, play another great team like we do every week. So it's a great opportunity, you know, to put on for the crowd and for the fans, always. 15 tackles for loss and seven sacks against Michigan State. Just how, how are you guys able to, you know, have such a productive game as a defensive line? Um, I think that just kind of goes with our preparation. Every day we work as hard as possible, as hard as can, like, like it's a game. Like sometimes the practices are harder than the game for us. So I think that kind of shows what how serious our preparation is and what we do during the week to be able to perform on Saturday. We haven't had a chance to talk to you yet. Um, your journey here to Indiana, you know, after entering the transfer portal, can you take us through it and, and kind of how quickly Indiana developed for you as an mm -hmm. option? Um, yeah, the, the transfer portal is, you know, that's an entire different story. It's, it's like a, a whirlwind when it comes to that for certain people. But um, honestly, for me, it was where I find that fits best for me. It wasn't about being at the most fancy school or the biggest school. It was where I feel like I get developed the most, who cares for their players the most. And obviously, you know, Coach Sig's background, he's been winning for a long time. So kind of wanted to be in that winning culture. What was your first impression of him? Oh, great guy. Like, you know, he's a, he's a funny guy. And a lot of times he may not seem like, he may seem like he's super, super serious, but like he has a great side to him. And I feel like that, you know, when it's time for the business and when it's time to work, it's really time to work. And then when it's time to chill and relax, that, you know, he all showed that side too. So I love Coach Sig. They had a lot of JMU guys that they brought over on defensive line and defense in general. Did it take you some time to adjust? You know, what was that like, that transition like? Honestly, I, f I feel like we fit pretty well when I first got here. Like, it was pretty easy bonding. I got, you know, got the hang of the defensive schemes pretty well. And honestly, just like fitting in with a lot of JMU guys, it was pretty easy. And I feel like they accepted me for the person who I am. And then they found me as family. So I appreciate that from them. What, um, what makes Mikhail so special, you think? Um, like I said, he's another person that prepares like nobody else. During the week, he practices as hard as possible, watches a ton of film, and he's just one of those guys where it's like he can just go out there and perform because of how much he does during the week. How does it help you all inside when you have someone like him on the outside? Oh, yeah, he definitely makes our job easier. You know, putting on pressure to the quarterback, it just allows, allows a lot of time for, you know, sometimes the focus gets off of us and they focus on them. Now we get to create plays and we get to kind of have his back in that aspect. So, you know, playing next to McCall is, is huge. What was the coaching staff's message to you when you were in the portal? Um, honestly, it was just, hey, like, you know, we, we need some deep uh, defensive tackles here. And, you know, we come here, we're going to need you to play for us. And just give me everything you got, and we'll give it all to you. AJ, the mood and the reaction for that defense after you spotted 10 to Michigan State on Saturday was very impressive. Kind of give me, give me an idea what's going on with that group after those first couple possessions. It seemed to dial you guys in. Um, honestly, we didn't have any big reaction. We know, you know, things happen. It's football, so we kind of just... Got, got our guidelines together, talked on the sideline, and it was like, hey, like, we do this all the time. We practice and prepare for, you know, mistakes to happen. So let's go out there and do what we do, know our training, and that's kind of how we brought it back together. Do you guys feel the momentum when the offense gets the rhythm that they get, and all of a sudden that lead goes to 10, 20 plus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, offense and defense, we definitely feed off each other's energy. Like, that's one great thing about this team. Everybody is really gelling and connected, no matter which side of the ball you're on. So I feel like, the offense is doing great. The defense is going to feel that energy. Like, hey, let's back them up. Let's, you know, let's let's give them something back for them because they did some good things for us. Let's do some good things for them. I want to say you were on a roster that went one and eleven last year, right? I'm curious what <coughs> what makes a mindset of a winner. Do you feel mm -hmm. like honestly, it's just preparation, preparing to win. That's the biggest thing. Like, if you prepare, like you know you're going to win, then that's kind of what the outcome is. How is this team doing it better than last year then? Is there anything specific? It just seems like a very broad question. I mean, that's a, that's a very broad question. But, you know, I love my old school. You know, I love all the guys that I used to, you know, hang around with. But um, honestly, it's just preparation. That's what it comes down to, you know, just doing different things, doing practice, practicing hard. How much do Coach Haynes and Coach Koontz have an impact on that in that preparation? Oh, huge. They come with energy every single day. They come with it like it's a game. So if you have that game mentality when you're going to practice, then you'll be good when it comes to the game time. Did Michigan offer you in the portal? <clears throat> yes, they did. did. How far the line did you get with them? Um, I, you know, I, I had some talks with them, but we won't go too deep into it. It was, you know, portal stuff and yeah. recruitment. But, but you didn't visit or anything like that? No, I didn't. What does it mean to you to have position coaches and a defensive coordinator who are so into the preparation and getting you guys better every single day? It means a lot. It just kind of prepares us for more than just football at, at that aspect as well. It kind of prepares us for life because you can't really just go into life unprepared. And there's going to be hard things that come to you like, during the week, we have some hard challenges to come in. We get a specific scheme that kind of really, really challenges us. So, like, having that preparation, not knowing that, like, no matter what, something may go bad, but you have an opportunity to make it right again, that's a big thing for us. And was that part of the draw of getting you here to Indiana? Most definitely. What's up?
Uh, just coming from Kent State, what has it been like for you to see, you know, you're in the Big Ten, sold out stadiums, college mm -hmm. game days here, just kind of that, uh, you know, bigger stage, what has that been like? For oh, yeah, definitely. The environment is completely different. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of like the biggest part about it is like you got an environment, you got a fan base who really, really cares about their hometown team, and that's the biggest difference for me. Two more for CJ. You mentioned that the offense and defense are very connected during games. What does that look like when you're going up against each other in practice? Oh, it's very, very competitive. <laughs> Because we know that if we go as hard as we can for them, then we make their looks so much harder. So when it co comes time for the game, then it makes it kind of easy for them. You know what I'm saying? So we, you know, we, we prepare really hard. We compete really hard. When we go offense, D-line, one-on-ones, everybody's competing. So that's just kind of how we go about things every day. And also, any, go ahead. No, you go. Is there anything different you guys have been preparing for for ahead of this week, Michigan? No. There's nothing. That we prepare like the same we do every week, every single week. This is the biggest game because it's the next game. And I, that's how it is every week. Awesome. Thanks, CJ. Thanks, Thanks CJ. CJ. Thanks, CJ.